Okay, good morning everybody. Uh, today we want to present about quadratic inequalities. Before that, we want to, in to introduce ourselves. My name is William. My name is David. My name is Ray. Hi. Okay, right now I want to explain you about the basic form of quadratic inequalities. The basic form is a squared plus bx plus c less than zero. So uh, da cannot equal as zero, and a, b, and c is a, a real number. Yeah. And I want to give you some of the examples of in of quadratic inequalities. First is minus two x minus three less than zero, and the second is x square minus four x plus four is greater or equal to zero. These are so some of the example of quadratic inequalities. It's easy for us to study uh, the math inequalities. I have some steps here that can help us. First of all, we need to find the roots of the inequalities. Find the roots. Number two. Uh, yeah, number two. We need to place them in a number line. Third, we need to find the positive and the negative signs of the equation in the number line. Lastly, we need to find the solution and then for the negative, it, the solution is, uh, I mean for negative, it is the solution for the inequality ax squared plus bx plus c is smaller than zero. But for the positive, it is the solution of ax squared plus bx plus c is bigger than zero. Hope you get all that. Thank all of the questions. First, find the roots. How can we get 6 and minus 4? 6 times 4 is 24, minus 24, and plus 6 is minus 4 is plus 2. Open brackets. x plus 6. Close brackets. x minus 4. Small. And now we'll, we'll, we will place the roots on number line. Oh wait. I forgot to write this thing this is minus 6 and this is 4 and now we'll find the plus and the minus signs of the number line um, you can give uh, you can use some examples and you will get the answer is plus minus and plus and we will and we will take the minus because um, to, this one is smaller than zero so we, we have to take the minus And the answer is minus six. It's 
smaller than x, smaller than 4. Okay, and this is the second examples of quadratic inequalities. x squared minus 3x minus 88, 28 less or equal to 0. First, the first steps, we have to find the roots. So we find the roots, x and x, and we have to find the number. Um, minus 7 and 4. Why? Because minus 7 times 4 is minus 28 and minus 7 plus 4 is minus 3x. And the next is, okay, we must to write the roots. x minus 7 and x plus 4. Then, so x minus 7 is equal to 0 and x plus 4 is equal to 0 then we move the minus 7 to the right so we get x is equal to 7 and x is equal to minus 4 then if we already find the roots uh, first we will move to here okay uh, we must draw the line draw the line then we write the roots minus 4 and 7 then uh, what we must write the dots here why because the example said that the inequal in is less or equal to 0 so we must write dots here Okay, then we must to find the plus and the minus signs on the number line. How? Okay, uh, example, we want to find here. So, as example, the number is minus 5. Okay, so we get the minus 5 into here. So, minus 5 minus 7 and minus 5 plus 4 so this is negative and this is negative 2 so negative times negative is positive the second we must get a number between minus 4 and 7 okay as example 0 and we get to here okay 0 minus 7 and 0 plus 4 okay 0 minus 7 is minus and 0 plus 4 is positive so negative times positive is negative signs and the last we have to find numbers above 7 as examples in so we must get 8 to here okay so 8 minus 7 times 8 plus 4 so 8 minus 7 is positive and 8 plus 4 is positive too so positive times positive is positive and what the examples one is the negative one so we get here So the answer is minus 4 is less than 0 and less than or equal to 7. Hi guys, this is the next example. Um, so let's start this out. This is the equality. mx squared plus mx plus 1 is equal to 0. But it says in the book that the roots are... Um, the roots are real, which means that the discriminant uh, wait, that the discriminant if it's real, it's bigger than zero, right? And then uh, that means that b squared minus four ac is bigger. Big
get in here. We get the B from here. This is our B, this is our A, and this is our C. We just need to put these three inside. So we get M squared minus 4 times M times M is bigger than 0. So M squared minus 4 M squared uh, plus that one is 1. What? One, which means one for m is bigger than zero. So uh, we use the the pass method to get the roots right, and it'll turn out to be m minus four and m plus zero. You see, because when you times multiply this, it'll turn out m squared minus four m, and then when you multiply it by zero, it'll turn out to be nothing. That's correct. So, for this one, m can be equal to 4. For this one, m can be equal to 0. So, we just need to put these in the number line. Zero, 4. So, we put number here, right? And, for example, negative 1. This will end up as... For this one, we can put 1, 2, or 3, or a decimal number. And then, L turn out to be a negative, which means last one's a positive. So, we use the positive ones. Oh, why don't you use this blue? Yes. Red. Blue. Red. Blue. We use the positive one because from from this it's bigger, so we get the positive. But if this one's smaller, then we use the negative. So the answer will be m is smaller than zero, or m is greater than four. Tada! Okay, guys. But there's one last thing that we need to remember. Remember that the question asks us for uh, this uh, for roots that are real. Okay, not just different, but real. So if it's real, the middle one has to be bigger and equal to zero. But if if the one's also equal, that means this one needs to be shaded so that we can remember the difference. And then also the final answer will change into this. Um, and also this one. <laughs> Thank you. Yep. Thank you for listening to our presentation. I hope that you enjoyed your time with us. And I hope that our presentation